Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Mrs. Costell, an art teacher from Illinois. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Costell. I teach at Holy Trinity School in Westmont and Elm School in Burr Ridge, Illinois, and I also run the blog, No Corner Sons. Today, we are going to be drawing and painting everything that you would find under the sea. It looks a little hard, doesn't it? It's okay, I know you can do hard things. Well, let's go. Let's get your supplies. You will need a pencil and eraser, some scratch paper, a piece of nice paper, any size, crayons, water cup, brush and watercolor supplies. Together, let's practice drawing some under the sea stuff. I am going to draw with marker on this scratch paper so you can see it. I'm also going to draw kind of big. You can draw small and draw a whole bunch of stuff on one piece of paper. And remember, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video. If you want to try something again, just rewind. You can practice drawing under the sea things a million and twelve times if you'd like. First, a simple fish. I like to start with an oval for the body, triangle for the top fin, triangle for the tail, and inside fin. A big circle and a little circle for the eye. I like to give my fish some big fish lips, so I make like a capital B, but in this case, it is backwards. Finally, I add some texture on the fins and even some you, 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 for scales. How about that? Let's try an octopus. I start with a rainbow. Of course, I know I need to make eight tentacles. I have the tendency to get a little crazy with the loop-de-loos here, so I try to do four on one side and then four on the other. Even though I really want to make him look kind of cute, I know that an octopi's eyes are really on the side of its big rainbow head and not all cute with a smile in front. Then I add some suction cup things, literally called suckers, just little circles or rainbows on the bottom of his tentacles. And as long as we are thinking of things with tentacles, let's draw a jellyfish. Again, a rainbow, but this time I just add a squiggle to show the bottom of its bow. Then those squiggly tentacles, the shiny glare, and eye spots. Ooh, and bubbles, those are fun. The jellyfish got me thinking of that show SpongeBob, and then that made me think of Mr. Krabs. So the next under the sea thing we can draw is a crab. Not Mr. Krabs though, I think this one's name is Mr. Smith, which makes no sense for a crab living under the sea. Start with a circle, add some bent lines on either side for the bottom set of legs. For the top set, I like to make one horizontal rectangle with vertical one on top. Top that off with a U with a V inside of it, just like that. Then some creepy antenna eyes for good old Mr. Smith. Got all that? Since I was thinking of Mr. Krabs, I thought of Patrick Star, which made me think of a starfish, which is really just a bunch of triangles or V's, five to be exact. An upside down V, two perfectly horizontal V's for arms and two V's or actually a W for legs and then some texture, uh, no Hawaiian shorts. Oh, a stingray. Those are also fun. Start with a big U. Make little U's going towards the center on either side. So they just about meet. Add some little circles for eyes, some texture down its back and its tail. Did you know that the tail holds the stingers? That's why wild stingrays are dangerous. But at zoos and aquariums, the stingrays get their stingers periodically trimmed so they won't hurt you and you can pet them. Now, sharks on the other hand, I've never had the opportunity to pet a shark, but I can draw one, a kind of cute one. Start with a rainbow and you. It's kind of an eyeball or lemon shape. Add a triangle tail, triangle dorsal fin, and triangle for its big open mouth. Add a triangle for its pectoral fin and some triangle teeth. I add a little dot for an eye and then some gills. Boom, shark, done. Uh, I kind of feel like I need to make a triangle joke here, but I couldn't think of one. Dolphin time. Start with a rainbow. Now this seems weird, but for the dolphin's beak, yeah, beak, that's what it's called. I think of the letter C that has been really stretched out. Then I go down the tail, which is fancy and notched. 
So I make two triangles. I head up top to the triangle dorsal fin. And this is the tricky one. You will kind of want to curve that line when you connect the beak to the tail, but don't. Just keep it straight, it looks good. Add a pectoral fin, smile, and an eye. Be cute. And speaking of cute, I learned how to draw whales from looking at the patterns on baby clothes many years ago. It kind of stuck. Start with a rainbow, connect the bottom with a slight curved smile, give that whale the two triangle notched tail, big ol' smile, dot eye, and don't forget the blowhole. Aw, Captain Ahab just wants to give that little guy a hug. Now you can practice a few other things you might find under the sea, some seaweed growing, the sandy bottom, corals, shells. What other things would you find under the sea? Sunken treasure, divers, mermaids, shipwrecks. All right, it's time for the main event. Write your name on the back of your paper. You have had plenty of practice, so I recommend drawing this picture all in crayon and pressing hard. This will create a wax resist when we paint. If you start drawing in crayon and you think you make a mistake, Try to just keep going. I know it's hard because to you, the mistake is blaring, but usually people do not notice our mistakes unless we point them out or turn your mistake into something else. I am drawing away like crazy with a whole bunch of colors. Notice I am not coloring in anything. I am keeping everything white from when I paint. Ooh, I did color in one thing though, and you can't even see it. I used a white crayon to make a few bubbles on my picture. I pressed super hard. When I paint over it, the white will show like magic. Paint time. With watercolor, always use lots and lots of water and just a little bit of paint. Make a puddle of water on top of the color you are going to use and always work light to dark. Look at that masterpiece. See, I told you you could do hard things. Wasn't that fun? I can't wait to see your art. See you next time. Bye.